first and now in the French Quarter, we're definitely hearing the rain and look at our camera earlier in the newscast. We had the big downpour showing up about to arrive along the New Orleans skyline. Now it's just all gray with raindrops, but it is moving fast. So if you're wondering when can I get outside? Probably pretty soon, maybe even as little as 10 15 minutes or so for the metro area. And hey, the temperature not too bad. It was at low 90s. The feels like temperature in the low 100s just a little while ago. Our dew point still pretty high at 72, but was uh, up to about upper 70s to near 80. So much more humid and much hotter, of course, earlier. And now we have our temperatures only in the 80s. Here is the live radar scene. And again, you can see that we don't have it completely spread out all across the area. There are just a few pockets of rain, one right over New Orleans. I know inconveniently for some of you who may want to get outdoors at this point and have somewhere to go, but you can see that it's already actually drying out at areas like River Ridge and over toward parts of Kenner, and this is going to be moving fast. So here we are with some of the heaviest right now, actually over Chalmette and just to the east of the city of New Orleans, and there is a little bit more farther to the north, so we'll see whether this kind of skirts by some of our Jefferson Parish areas, maybe over toward the causeway and certainly over Lake Pontchartrain near Laplace, we're getting some downpour activity as well. Tracking again tentatively the end of the rain, and it might be 1225, 1230 or so that we begin to dry out for the New Orleans area itself, including the city. So it won't be too much longer if you can kind of hang tight. In the meantime, though, there is heavy rain, but again, it's moving, so we're not expecting a lot of flooding issues right now. And then we do have some downpours over toward Baton Rouge, which of course got a lot of rain over the weekend and even yesterday. Tracking that tentatively. This is not set in stone, but just a tentative timeline. If it holds together and makes its way off to the east, you can see when it may be arriving, maybe toward the two o'clock to three o'clock time frame, potentially for some North Shore spots. And there isn't quite as much along the coast. Little shower there, though, around the Thibodeau area right now. Our setup has the low pressure that we've been talking about that will eventually have a chance of developing off the east coast. That's over Georgia. We've had this front kind of hanging here and just kind of bouncing up as a warm front and back down as a cool front. So that has all kind of aided along with all this moisture in our atmosphere in the rain formation. So we're still expecting possibly um, a couple of areas that might have some street flooding perhaps this afternoon. A flash flood watch continues until 7 p.m. Remember, we would love to see what you are seeing. If you have rainfall totals in particular, text them to this number 504-529-4444. I keep the scroll up on my computer and I'm constantly looking through those. So include your name if you'd like and your city or neighborhood and it really gives us a good idea of what you guys are seeing out there if you have a good rain gauge that you like to look at our hour by hour forecast this afternoon and evening you can see that there will be still some pockets of rain through we'll say about 6 or 7 p.m. Everything begins to decrease as we get towards sunset, which is just after 8 p.m., about 8.05, 8.06. 8 a.m. tomorrow, pretty quiet, and tomorrow looks like a quieter day. There will still be a rain chance with some scattered activity possible, but we're not looking for a whole lot of widespread or really heavy rain tomorrow. We'll see how it pans out, but the rain chance will be lower. Today, we have already hit our high, actually, in the low 90s. We may rebound possibly into the upper 80s again, or some spots, depending on the cloud cover may kind of stay in the middle 80s tonight, partly cloudy conditions and our low temperatures in the 70s. And again, we do have that risk of some marginal kind of a low end risk for some flooding rains today. We'll be watching for that. Then it really heats up by the end of the week. So if you're okay with these temperatures in the 80s, um, I would say just enjoy it because we will probably be seeing heat advisories by this weekend. There is that area that we are watching off the East Coast and that will be a medium chance of developing. There's also a new outlook from Colorado State University, which says 20 named storms this year. That would take us to the Vicky, the V storm. 19 storms, as predicted by NOAA, would take us to Teddy. So still a ways to go. Our seven day forecast is showing those temperatures really soaring, especially by Thursday when the rain chance gets cut back all the way to about 20%.